video with your girl Carol and today we have my amazing husband Jeremy Moon and today we're going to talk about the first time that we met but before we get into the topic if you feel like you can benefit from some encouraging videos by all means hit that subscribe button click like click share and give me some feedback comment okay so let's talk about the first time that we met the first time that you were amazed and just fell in love with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, we met uh, almost 13 years ago. Yep, almost 13 years ago we was working um, together and I was there first. And so um, one day I was coming in to work and in the break room there was a new guy and it was Jeremy and I was like oh okay he kind of cute whatever kind of cute yeah whatever nothing major now I'm just playing <laughs> <laughs> so um I worked on the end of the line I boxed everything up and so the guy that worked in front of me was off that day and so he took his spot and so he tried everything to get my attention everything and I just I wouldn't look up and he even he had like some really nice arms and <laughs> hey, I'm just listening. um and a really nice body period I still do mean, yeah hey. baby you do oh, okay. you do my bad <laughs> <laughs> but you had that 21 year old uh -oh. oh god I feel so bad saying that now <laughs> Whatever. I was still in my twenties when I met you, so knocking on thirty. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. So anyway, so he rolled his shirt up or whatever, and I was like, okay, dang, he has some nice arms. Um, okay, so whatever. Still, you know, trying to ignore me, whatever. And then I looked up again, and he gave me this real big smile, and I smiled and put my head back down or whatever. So, you know, that was the first day. We really didn't communicate. We really, we really didn't say much to each other the first day. No, we didn't. We didn't. I played it cool, calm, and collected. No, you, he was very cocky. Very, very cocky. It was just like... Oh my God. We weren't cocky. Yes, I just, yes. I was slick shy, for real. I just... I, I just... And he felt like he had this body and he had he looked nice and he it was just like the girls in there didn't we weren't on his standards. I mean <laughs> Hold on, you I really wasn't looking for no girls, so it wasn't like you know what I'm saying? It just the thing between me and you just kinda happened, so it wasn't like It was I destined. Just, yeah, I guess. Nah. <laughs> I guess so, because we still hit right. Boom, 12 years later. Yup. Yup. Um, so when did we start talking? Like, how did we just start? I mean, we kind of built a relationship over the, the little time because we was riding back and forth to work together. Yeah, his car broke down, so I started giving him rides to work. Yeah. Rise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you say anything. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and we started yeah, we and we became real cool. Real cool. Mm -hmm. And um but before we became real super cool, I think I I ain't no think I asked him did he want a girlfriend and he told me nah in front of everybody. So I was like, yeah, I know. It can't be loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I ain't, you know. No, it was that I was a little older and you found out I had children. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I wasn't trying to have no drama in my life at the time. Ah. So I was just like, I, I, wasn't, I ain't know if I was ready for that or not. But, I mean, one thing led to another, and yeah. Put my big boy drawers on. That's <laughs> been rocking ever since. Right, 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 right. 
true, true. Yeah. Yep. And then one day, he asked me in the house. He asked me to come on in. And I told him, the next day I said, you know, we go together, right? <laughs> <laughs> but y'all y'all guess what later on probably like 10 years down the line he told me he had felt sorry for me <laughs> <laughs> so that's why <laughs> oh, that's, that's why we was we he went on and you weren't supposed to tell the world <laughs> <laughs> no but for real though um I ain't feel sorry for you I really had feelings for you like you you was real cool. We got along. You was like a you was like a good friend, so like why not, you know? Take a chance. And just been rocking ever since. Like best thing ever happened to me. My best friend. One change for the world. So I may not have been ready. I thought I was ready, but I got ready. <laughs> and I'm glad I did. But I don't think we were prepared. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like you always you always think you're ready for marriage until you get into the marriage and it's like, okay, hold on. Nobody prepared me for certain situations. Right. Nobody prepared me to be this amazing wife or do everything that I need to, needed to do to make sure I met all your needs and all your wants. Like, you can't go into the relationships into the relationship self, selfish. Okay. And I think for me, I went into the relationship relationship selfish because I was so um, spoiled and so used to everything going my way. So, um, marriages work. Marriages work because you have to get out of self and you have to learn how to make sure each other, you know, like we both are happy. I can't do what I want to do and, you know, not consider your feelings and what you want to do. Right. So, um, marriage is working. We, we had to really work at getting to where we are today, but no matter what obstacles came our way, we we still um we're sort of looking for we worked through it we yeah fought. yeah all my life i had to fight <laughs> and that's the same with the marriage man. like yeah so we you're gonna have people attacking you from every which way you have relatives whether it's relatives friends people turn their back on you but if you yeah. if you know that the person you with is truly who you're supposed to be with. It don't matter what what obstacles obstacles come your way, you still have to work through them. Yeah. And we have done that. Yes. Yes. So many times the enemy has tried to break us up, knock us down, uh break us, turn us into you know, turn us on each other. Um but we really wanted to be in this marriage and we really wanted to be with each other and make it work. So we pushed through any and everything that came my way. And what you see is what you get. This is my best friend. I'd rather be with him all the time. I'd rather do everything with him. Um, my my friends can tell you, the people that surround you can tell you. If I'm calling them, be like, what you doing? Let's go here. They be like, Jeremy must be at work. Don't be using me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just um, even my kids they be like what's wrong with you you must be bored because Jeremy ain't at home it's just I don't know it's just he's my best friend it's just like I just I like being up under him I like um, just being around him and I've had people in the past tell us that y'all around each other too much or y'all um, gonna get tired of each other and you know people try to talk talk negative over our marriage or whatever and it's just like but with me i can't stand for somebody to try to tell me what to do oh i can't stand it so it just made me pu it pushes me harder to make you out to be a lie but that's how you know that's how you know you got something good when when you 
I always have somebody that's saying something negative. It's like every good thing we do, someone always has something negative to say. Yeah. Even from the start when we was just dating, people would say, uh, I ain't gonna last. Oh, oh. Yeah. Like you said, y'all around each other too much. Yeah, they, they said we work we're together and we, we did everything together. We And we still do to this day. If you see her, you see me. Yep. Or vice versa. Like They said we weren't gonna make it. I even had a girl come up to me. And this is when we first got married. And we was at work. And she told me, um, that's why you and Jeremy ain't going to work out. He going to cheat on you. He going to um, cheat on you with a white girl. She said all that. Why she I don't know why she had to be a white girl. But that's what she just said. That's and funny. I was just like, I really was ready to fight her. You mean, I was ready. Oh, I was ready to get her. Because... How dare you? How dare you? And seeing her, we've seen her win. Sometime last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometime, yep. Broke my neck speaking, hey, <laughs> girl. <laughs> hey, because I want you to remember that you, what you had said. And a lot of people thought we were, like, a lot of people were really just doing us bad. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> Baby, when we got married, oh, that was... <laughs> they act like oh my god yeah but I was I was so happy to be like yeah we married now so what what you got to say now but yeah they they did us bad at creative food <laughs> yeah I said it <laughs> I said it but, not everybody but, we still but you know love, who you are we still got love for you haters <laughs> <laughs> we still rocking but I can say the things <laughs> that we dealt with back then we we do not we do not deal with that now. Um, I hear, I mean, they're probably still our haters, I'm sure. Um, haters got to do their job, and it's cool. But I hear more of um, we have a good relationship. People like our relationship, how we interact with people. Um, people say that we have a perfect relationship. I thought, you know, they say that, you know, we got a perfect relationship, but I kind of don't like when people say we have a perfect re relationship or they think we had a perfect relationship. I don't know. I just don't like. Uh, ain't no relationship. Perfect. Yeah, because it's not. It's we're not perfect. We just make it work. We just make it work, and I don't want to be labeled as that that perfect couple because I don't even think there exists. No. But. I think we do. I know we do have a healthy marriage, though. We have a healthy marriage, and um, I go to war for him. It's like, anybody know? I don't play about him. I don't play about him. Oof. I'm saying her. Period. <laughs> but, yeah. But, overall, we have a we have a dope marriage. Um, We've had, like I said, we've had problems and we've had issues, but what marriage doesn't? What relationship doesn't? Um, but we've overcome all of that. So we really don't, um, we really don't deal with, we don't deal with, no. I mean, we might argue about petty stuff. <laughs> yeah, we argue about petty stuff all the time. <laughs> yeah, we talk about petty stuff and then um so maybe ten minutes. Part of it, yeah, though, yeah. You're around each other so much, so of course you're gonna get frustrated or aggravated with one another. And sometimes I just do things to aggravate her just because sometimes. it's funny. Like, All the time. <laughs> but yeah, we argue. We argue and then five minutes later we We laughing. Oh my god. Oh my God, one Sunday we was gonna go, go out to eat and I couldn't find my debit card. <laughs> and and um, he was like, you need to go in the house to go see. Let me sit back some. He was like, oh, you could have left it on. Oh, okay. But anyway, he was like, um, go in the house. You need to go in the house and see if you can find your cards. So I'm looking everywhere. I'm looking everywhere. And I couldn't find them. So I just come back in the car. I'll come or whatever. And he was like, did you find them? I was like, no. And I mean, he just blew up <laughs> on me. And I was just like, 
you act like those they're my cars like i should be the one upset but my thing is i could have i could have canceled the card and got me another card and then my cash app i could have transfer all you know my money into the bank or to his cash app so it wasn't like the biggest deal that he was making it to be oh but we blew it up to a thousand <laughs> oh <laughs> we were arguing and i done slammed doors and i didn't he um we had to go back to the house and so Something said, Carol, look in your coat pocket. No, I said, did you look in your jacket? Did you say yeah, that? Yeah, I looked in there. No, yeah, no. Yes, yes. See, we about to see. No. I, yes, I said, did you, you look in your jacket? You said that afterwards. No. You said that afterwards, and I didn't want to tell you that I found them. Mm. Yeah, you said that afterwards. The second time I came here, he was like, did you look in your jacket? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, well... Did you find, you know, whatever. But it took me a minute to come out the house because I was in there laughing because I didn't want him to see me smiling. So I had to get myself together because I wanted him to think that I was still mad. Then she's going to come out there. You ain't got to spend your money. It wasn't even that, y'all. I was asking her to make sure she found a debit card because if she lost them. Then we needed to do the necessary steps to cancel the cards. It's the like way that. he came at me no. with it. I told him it's never what he says, it's how he says it. So yeah, we argue about petty stuff, but I wouldn't trade him for nothing in the world. Nothing in the world. Same here. Oh, <laughs> it took you a minute to say that. Like, okay. But anyway. She knows she ain't going nowhere. And I ain't either. I just want to say, if the video is a little shaky, it's Jeremy because he keeps shaking his legs. I'm but, sorry. <laughs> but anyway. I can't sit still for a while. <laughs> he ain't lying. I'm sorry, y'all. If it look like an earthquake on the video. <laughs> The tree trunk tomorrow. I'm sit still. But anyway, oh wow, seventeen minutes. <laughs> seventeen minutes of excitement, y'all. But anyway, um, we're gonna go on and cut this video off. But that is just a little into our the beginning of our lives, twelve yes. years ago, and um, we still rocking strong. And so can you? Yes. Yes, so can you. <laughs> I love marriages. I love love. I want everybody to win. I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to just get everything in life that they deserve, that they desire. I just love to see people happy. Um, I love to see people excited about just life. And if you feel like you want... I don't even know what I'm about to say. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I actually forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, I ain't editing it out. Whatever. So, um, that is, um, <laughs> I don't even know. But we're about, to, we're about to go ahead and end this video because, uh, yeah, I done messed up. But anyway, um, I just want to say that I love you guys. You are amazing. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the um, all the love that you've been giving me. It it hasn't gone unnoticed. You make me feel very special, and because of you, I'm going to keep striving. I'm going to keep pushing because um, I just want to make you proud. Um, I just want to say again that I love you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys rock. Remember faith over fear. Remember you are loved. Remember to always be blessed and believe in yourself. Remember you can do anything that you put your mind to. I love you guys. Until next time.